your walk is going to be modified by the Heavenly Father because I did not get whatever behind the drawer until I prayed first. We need to pray first for the Heavenly Father to use his modification. It could be something, someone, a situation, event, that the Heavenly Father is using us to do something in that modified state in order to grasp out, to pull out whatever is causing us to not go forward in our relationship, not to go forward in our walk with him. We may be so overwhelmed and so over packed with ungodliness, with fear, ungodly fear, unhealthy fear. We may be packed full of things that we're thinking about what's happening in the world today. We may be full and, and overwhelmed and overpacked with worry about our children, our grandchildren, our family, friends, our job, our career, our business. We are so packed with all these different in, internal, external variables that we not allow the Heavenly Father to modify us so that he can bring us out to help us to function properly. We may have to, another spiritual lesson I learned from this is when the drawer was so full, overfull really, of items, the Heavenly Father may have to remove some things from us in order for us to be used for his glory and praise. He has to remove all the the ungodly thinking, ungodly behavior, ungodly speaking. He has to remove all these sinful inclinations that all human beings have in order for us to be used for his glory, honor, and praise and worship. For his purpose. Romans 8, 28 says, All my Yahweh will work everything for our good when we are called according to his purpose. And we love him. So let's just read that. Let's read Romans 8, 28 from the Holy Word. And this is from the New King James. And we know that all things work together for good to those who love God, to those who are the called according to his purpose. So our purpose from the Heavenly Father is when we are called according to his purpose. He And we love the Almighty Yahweh with all our heart, mind, soul, and strength. With all our might, we love him. That's when things will work together. All things will work together for good. But we have to first meet the Heavenly Father requirements. So, Going back to 1 John that we read in the outset, verse 1. I'm sorry, 1 John chapter 1, verse 7. So 1 John chapter 1, verse 7 for the Amplified. But if we really are living and walking in the light, this is the light of the Almighty Yahweh, His light. As He Himself is in the light, Yahweh Elohim, Creator, King of the Universe, is is he himself is the light we have true unbroken fellowship as we are in the light the light is inside of us the almighty yahweh's holy spirit holy light is inside his humble obedient clay vessel servant children who are always repenting always asking forgiveness always trying to live holy pure and righteous as best as they know how will have an unbroken and true fellowship with one another with other people who are walking in the light, who have the light inside them. And the blood of Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach, his son cleanses or removes. See, it's the blood of Yeshua, Yeshua. Cleanse us from all sin and guilt. That's what the blood of Yeshua does to children, servants, and remnants who are putting their faith, hope, and trust 